So anyway, we immediately began work on a new design, and we did an optical breadboard, and we started laying out the controller, and, and the optics became pretty simple right off the bat. We had a source, and this is a good look at the inside of a VL1. The source over there on the right, actually there's no lamp in this one, and, and we put some wheels in the middle, and then there was this aspheric lens that went on the front of it, and, and we had an iris in the front that controlled the intensity. And, you know, that's not much different than the system that we use today. The color system was simple. Uh, it had three wheels, and there you see the lens plastered on the front of the thing. Um, I wanted to do something that still emulated the tunable color thing, so we developed a system of filters that were in families, uh, amber, magenta, and blue filters. And these are actual scans of the very first uh, VL1 filters that we put out. So um, the arrangement was, as you see on wheels, one wheel of, of long wave pass, one wheel of short wave pass, then a wheel that had three magentas on it, a cyan, a bastard amber, and a magenta, two dark blues, two dark reds. And uh, it looked pretty good. It was looking pretty good. We decided we, did, we needed to build a controller that was based around five microprocessors. We uh, were going to put together uh, and work with processors for the first time. So Tom Walsh architected the thing. He said, we're going to have a processor for pan, tilt, color, beam size, and intensity each one doing its own thing. And uh, we were going to use wire wrap technology to build the cards. And this is the very first VL1 controller. We only built one of these. But you can see the rack with all these cards, and they're color-coded for their different functions. And uh, there was a transmitter in there that output on a bike cable. So it had uh, 32 channels and uh, looked pretty good. All the knobs were uh, relative, and uh, we had color and saturation controller. Um, we had a crossfade on it. Uh, there was a, a chase a sequencer on there that stored uh, multiple cues and 